It's very important because it comes upon a recent decision of our Standing Committee on Copyright, taken some two weeks ago, to agree uh, to convene or to recommend to our governing body to convene a diplomatic conference to conclude a treaty on audiovisual performances, really actors' rights, if you like, internationally, to complete the international legal framework in the intellectual property area so as to cover the performances uh, in audiovisual media of actors. We are hoping that this treaty will contribute to making a more comprehensive legal framework by including actors' rights or rights in audiovisual performances within the international legal regime. And up until now, they are not in that. And that means that there is unevenness across the world and in many countries, audiovisual performances of, of actors are not recognised as rights. So uh, one of the things we hope the treaty will do is to establish that basic legal framework across the world. Actors nowadays are the only ones who are not uh, remunerated, can you say that? Uh, uh, as directors, as screenwriters, musicians are, which is kind of weird, because as we all know, if I play a character, it's gonna be totally different than the character that somebody else is gonna play. And it can be the same page, the same dialogue, the same director, but we bring something else. So we are authors, in a, in a sense. Uh, and this doesn't have anything to do with giving ourselves self-importance at all. It's about trying to find what is right for everybody, and especially, in my occasion here, to try to find what is right for the actors. That's what I, I can answer.